User Godalf Nintendo sent us a picture of his Tesla Model 3 that he exchanged his Kia Soul for, along with a Toyota Highlander. I know, he made a TikTok video saying, exchange a car for one, get the second car free. You should check his TikTok account called at Candy Bear. Well, his Tesla Model 3 runs on batteries, his Toyota Highlander runs on gasoline. Oh, here comes the versus the Candy Bear member of q Lopless entertainment and angela's galaxy member out of the 50 and the largest in history he is driving his tesla model 3 that he was talking about on tiktok and reddit he is here now let's get inside all right now that all of you including your golden retriever sasha are in my tesla model 3 let's go for a drive around grand junction huh? why have we stopped it appears the battery has gone dead. Let me charge it from a discrete location. All right, now that my Tesla Model 3's battery is fully charged, let's go for a drive around Grand Junction. Whoa, this car is so quiet. I couldn't hear a thing from the engine. Are you silly? Do some research. Teslas, in particular, utilize electric motors with only about 17 moving parts, compared to a conventional internal combustion engine, which has around 200. And this is why you often hear a hybrid or electric motor slow to a hum when the car is idling or cruising at a very slow speed. Right, Cade? Yes, Asher. There are two main kinds of electric motors used in electric cars, though there are many variations on those themes. Tesla, for example uses alternating current induction motors in the Model S but uses permanent magnet direct current motors in its Model 3, like the one I am driving right now. Oh, it's my friend, Doggett Douglas McDog, calling from the amphitheater at Los Colonias Park on 925 Struthers Avenue. All of you must not say a word while I answer my call. Candy Bear Cade speaking. Hello Cade, this is Doggett Douglas McDog, calling from the amphitheater at LAS Colonias Park on 925 Struthers Avenue in Grand Junction. And I want to let you know that our Angela's Galaxy concert has been moved to the Mesa Theater due to bad weather. What? Are you crazy? This can't be happening! I know. Also, our showtime is changed one hour later, making it 8.30, since the makeup artists, assistants, editors, managers, producers, production coordinators, and even Christina Grimmie, who is our occasional backup singer, is running behind schedule. All of the staff who work on our music videos, as well as Christina Grimmie? Running late? Delayed start to our show? This can't be happening! Oh, it'll be fine. You have extra time to get there after you drive your friends around Grand Junction, that's for sure. Arrival time is now 7 o'clock, so be there no later than the new time, 8.15, to be ready to go on stage. Okay, sounds terrific. I will be there between 7 o'clock and 8.15. Maybe 7.15, 7.30, 7.45, or 8 o'clock, or whatever the time tail Slandian Music Records producer Millicent Davidson prefers. Kate, TMR producer Millicent Davidson is running behind schedule, remember? The show will now start at 8.30. The TMR staff, as well as our backup singer, Christina Grimmie, will be there at or around 8 o'clock, 15 minutes before we all go on stage. Okay, sounds brilliant. I'll be there at 7.45, 15 minutes before all the DMR staff members and Christina Grimmie, our backup singer, 
arrive 15 minutes prior to us being scheduled to go on stage. Oops. Did I say on stage? I meant backstage, not on stage. I said we'll be on stage at 8.30, we'll be going backstage at 8.15, and our VIP party has been delayed one hour also, making it 11.45 instead of the usual time. It'll last 90 minutes as usual. Alright, sounds brilliant. We'll be backstage at 8.15, the first half of our concert will start at 8.30, a 15 minute intermission, and the second half will start at 10.15. And then we'll have our VIP party at 11.45 until 1.15 the next day, right? Awesome. Just call me or any Angela's Galaxy member, including our lead singer, Salts Zealot and Wolf, for any updates if the delay gets much longer or for any time changes. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Bye for now. Alright, bye bye. Well, at least we have tickets purchased in advance at the Ticketmaster website for the 7.30 showtime. Well. When you get home, just refund them, and reorder those tickets, and you'll get the VIP package free at Ticketmaster. Well, do any of you know what my Tesla Model 3 could do? Not me. Me either. Neither do I. I don't know either. What does it do? Well, Sabrina, the answer to your question, is my Tesla can drive itself there by pressing a button that says Cruise Control. And I already know where we are. We are now arriving back at your house, located on 2123 River Road, Grand Junction, Colorado, 81505. How did you know our house number, street name, city, state, and zip code? I pushed a button that said GPS navigation to give you guys the way home. I'll see you later. I love having Kate driving us around in our new Tesla. Me too. Me three. Me four. I agree. Come on. Let's exchange our 7.30 tickets for 8.30 tickets and the free VIP package Cade was talking about. I'll do the same thing with Alexandria's, Clarable's, and Karsten's already purchased tickets. This episode of Season 4 of Darren Pipster and Friends is sponsored by Fur Affinity, Viacom CBS, and Atlantic City Entertainment System. All of which own Cade Persis and Doggett Douglas McGog. No exceptions and no questions asked. Microsoft Sam's Bible verse of the day reads, Psalm chapter 23 verse 5, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Just like the street lights lit this town, like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down. Can't be afraid to live this out. 